Hello besties! It is Becky here with Bestie Becky's Crafts and today we're doing to do a fun little craft using this word stamp set from In Love Art Stamps. It's called the What A Day Word Set and we are going to make cute little thank you cards out of one sheet of 8.5 by 11 cardstock. And I know, you're like, it can't be done, it can't be done, only a magician can do it, but I'm going to show you how we can do it, and they are super, super cute. So, let's zoom back, so we can get everything in view here, and we're going to set our stamp set off to the side, and I'm going to show you what we're going to make. We are going to make little thank you cards just like this and I only have three here because we're gonna make the fourth one together but they're not very big I know I know but they are like adorable and they open like this so you could write your little thank you in there and put it off in the mail so let's get started let's get started and I promise you, you can get four out of one sheet of eight and a half by eleven, and not lying. Because look, got a set right here of four. So same same paper pad, um, just a little different com combination of papers. So to get started, we take our eight and a half by eleven piece of paper. And on the eight and a half inch side, let me get my paper cutter open here. On my eight and a half inch side, I'm going to cut it to seven inches. All right. So we've cut it to seven inches. Don't get rid of that. You can use that for, you know, other things. Now let's set this off to the side. For a second, because I need to bring up my scoring tool. And on the seven inch side, all right, there's my seven inch side, I'm going to score at three inches. All right, see that? I'm going to score at three inches all the way down. All right. That's the only thing we need our scoring tool for. Now, don't score yet. We need our paper trimmer back. And along the 11 inch side, all right, this is our 11 inch side, we're going to cut at two and a half inches all the way across. And you should get four cards, all right? So at two and a half inches, we're going to cut. One, two, three, and for our last one, four. There we go. Told you. There's our four cards. So, I've already done this, as you know, for the other three that I showed you that were what we're going to make like, alright, there's some focus. So I've already cut my piece, and it's seven inches by two and a half inches, and we have that score line at three, remember that, we did that? Now you can score, so just fold it over. And then use your bone folder and give it a nice crease. Alright. And now we're going to cut some mats to go on our card. And we're going to put a mat on the back. I know that's like really kind of different. But we're going to put a mat on the back. And this mat is two and three quarters by four and a quarter. And you're going to cut four of them. Because 
we're making four cards, right? So again, that was two and three quarters by four and a quarter. And since we're gluing this piece on top, I'm going to put my glue on the back of my little card here. So, oops. I've been having some problems with this glue tape runner thing. All right. And now we're just going to center it. And it's just an eighth of an inch border all the way around. And there we go. So that's the back. Now, I'm going to slide this over a little bit because we're going to do the mat that goes on this little flap right here. Okay? So the first mat we're going to cut is the bottom mat. Okay? And I'm going to use this color piece right here. All of my papers are from the same paper pack and they all coordinate together. So this piece measures two and three eighths by two and seven eighths. Alright, and you're going to cut four of those because remember again we're making four thank you cards. So that measurement again was two and three eighths by two and seven eighths. Okay. And then we're going to put a mat on top of this one. And there's just an eighth of an inch edge all the way around. So this mat right here measures two and a quarter by two and three quarters. And you're going to cut four of those. So again, that was two and a quarter by two and three quarters. Now I'm going to go ahead and glue this on top of that mat because it's just easier that way. Right. And like I said, it just has a little eighth of an inch all the way around. So we're just going to glue that down. And then we're going to glue this on top of that flap. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. And there'll be an eighth of an inch all the way around in white. Now, if you can see that, let me lift it up. When I include that down, do you see that? There's an, like an eighth of an inch all the way around. Okay, so there we have our mats. We're almost done. Almost done. So, then I stamped out four of the thanks on a piece of white paper and I used my oval die set to cut out all my thanks. If you have a punch that is that size you could do that. If you didn't want to do oval you could do a rectangle or something like that. But I kind of like the oval shape because the way the, letter, the letters curve. Oh my goodness. My tongue is getting so tired today. So. I am only going to put glue on half of that oval because the other half of my oval is going to not be attached to anything. If that makes sense. So you're basically going to glue just half of that oval on. Just like that. So I'm going to make sure to put it on the right side there. Put glue on half. That. I'm going to turn it towards me so that I can see better here and I'm going to center it and I'm going to bring it almost to that edge of the mat. Press it down and there we go. We have our little flap to open our thank you card. Okay? Now I wanted to dress it up a little bit so I used a flower from Oh, I gotta find it now. Um, from the flower dies that I from the flower dies that I got in my dye haul or my my haul from In Love Art Stamps. I used this die right here to make this flower. All right. And I just cut out four of them. Really easy, right? 
And then what you're going to do is you're going to round your petals. And I'm just going to use a paintbrush here. And we just want to give it some dimension. So I'm just going to round my petals like so. Okay. Isn't that fun? And then I'm going to use my handy dandy little poor mouse pad. And I'm going to push down in the center with my um, embossing tool with the round little, you know, ball on the end. Big one, because it's a big flower. So just push down on it just to give it some more dimension. All right. So you can do that with all four flowers. And then to glue it down, I'm just going to use glue dots. These happen to be medium sized glue dots. I found that this worked awesome. So I just press my flower up against the glue dot, press down on it, and pull up. And there you got your glue dot stuck. Alright. And then I'm just going to center it on here where I want it. And just push it down. Now, you know we can't be done, right? Oh, there's one thing I forgot it to do. Oh my goodness, darn it. All right, let's see. See how well I glued my thanks down. Hopefully not too well. Ooh. Oh, okay. I just dressed ink the edges. Oh, can't, for can't believe I forgot that that step. The reason I distressed my edges was because um, it was white on white and I don't I didn't think it popped out enough. So by distressing the edges I think it makes it pop out. So I'm just using um, sponge sugar because it matched my paper and I'm just distressed inking the edges like so. Alright, there we go. And it just gives it that little extra. Now I'm just going to re-glue the back there because, you know, I pulled it off. So, alright, and we'll glue it back on. Alright, so you never know I'm, I made a mistake. Okay, so now let's bling it up. So, I want to put a pearl in the middle of my flower and as you know I always like to add extra glue to hold that bling on if I know there's not a lot of stick and I know there's not a lot of glue on these pearls so I don't want them to fall off so there we go done just like that. Just like that. It goes really fast and before you know it you have four thank you cards made. Like that. So my next video I'm going to show you how to make envelopes for these cute little things. How to line those envelopes and I think it would be an awesome little gift set to give to someone so we're gonna make a little box to put them in so that you can send them to someone or you know a hostess gift or a random act of kindness or in a swap I think this would be cute right so that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it and like I said they're super easy super cute I will leave links below on the stamp set that I used as well as the die set that I used from In Love Art Stamps. And I will also leave a little discount code that you can add to your order. Alright, so I want to help you visit this their shop. It's called In Love Art Stamps. And just kind of take a look around and see what they've got. They have lots of stuff. And if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And 
as always, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time, and happy crafting. Bye.